All right, today I'm going to give a little demonstration on how to set up a grade with a laser. Um, we just have a little 15 by 15 patio here. We're going to put a one inch pitch on it. Um, pretty basic, but it works if you're doing a 100 by 100 parking lot or whatever. It's all the same concept. So I know my grade is set off of this, the bottom of the windowsill here. So I have it set up. Now I know that my gravel needs to be nine inches below that sill. Um, so right now this stick is in tents. I don't like to use tents. Um, you can get inch sticks but this is just the one we have. Um, I don't like to use tents because usually on all your plans that you get um, everything's in inches so then you have to convert everything. So the easy way to do this is uh, I just use a tape measure so I know I have to go uh, down nine inches. Now you have to think it's counterintuitive because you're thinking about the bottom moving the bottom of the stick. So you actually have to move your receiver up nine inches. So right up to here because that pushes the bottom of the stick down. You have to do the opposite of what you're trying to what you're kind of thinking. It's a little confusing at first. Okay, so I have that set up. Now, that is set for nine inches below the windowsill. So that's where the top of my gravel has to be. So if we were just using a regular laser, that's how you'd set it up. You can grade everything off with this, nice and easy. But what I have is a uh, laser that does pitches. And it's really nice, it's basic, it doesn't do um, like percentages, you have to figure out the pitch on your own. So for this patio, we're just doing an inch and a half pitch, kind of on a diagonal across. Um, now, set it up. I need my tape measure. Set it up. I always put a little dirt pile where I want to try, where I'm trying to pitch to. I kind of just make it the height of the nine inches that I'm trying to go down. Right there. Okay. So now I want to go pitching this way, I want to go down another inch and a half. So take your tape measure, measure, now don't measure from the bottom and then put your thing here. You got to measure from the same spot and move that point up an inch and a half. So right there. Okay, so we got that set for an inch and a half below that side. So now you want to set your laser up to so your reading level here. I just have this on silent so it's not annoying you, but as you can see, we're level right there. So what you want to do is make yourself a little landing set at that level. Right there. Now you want to go move your receiver back up an inch and a half or down on the stick. And you want to put it right in that same exact location. So you want to remember that. So obviously it's not reading level. But what you just did was you brought the whole stick down an inch and a half. So when I angle the laser down to it, the whole laser will be on a pitch down to here. So we'll uh, switch cameramen here. So just hold this here. So this works uh, a lot easier with two people. You can do it with one, you just have to think about it a little. So he's going to hold the stick. Now on my laser, you'll see the top here. These two nubs, you have to line up pretty close to where you're aiming for. Because that's the way that the angle, or the laser angles. Um, if these were pointing this way and you went to angle it 
everything would be off. So, here's uh, my laser. Now I want to tilt down. So you can tilt it back, you can tilt it down. So my uh, compadre is just going to hold it there. I'm angling. Now, you probably can't see it, but the laser is actually telling you to go up, but you have to keep going down. Because you're actually moving the laser and not the receiver, so again, you have to do the opposite. So, now... Are we on there? Okay, so we have this set up. Now the laser is on a pitch from the nine inches right over here to an inch and a half below over there. So again, if you wanted to, you can just, now your laser is all set up. You can grade everything. When you use your stick, the bottom of the stick is always going to read right where you need to be the whole way up to the laser. But if you have what I have, which is a magnetically mounting receiver, magnets right there and there, it's got a uh, big lights on the front see it blinks it tells you to go up or down now this can attach right to my boom of my excavator and I'll show you how that works in a second you can put that down Okay, so what do you want to do is you want to keep your spot right there exactly where it is. You never want to try and move that. Then what I do is I just take shovel or rake, clear off an area at that same height. You can always check it again with your uh, stick because it's already set up. Okay, so you want to set your boom down. I, if you have a tilt bucket, I always try and put the center of the tilt bucket because that can't really move. You don't want to do it on either side because your bucket might be not level. But I found if you put it right in the center, then it keeps it pretty level, even if your bucket is tilted. So now what you do, and when I set it, you want to be, if you look at this, it doesn't. it's not exactly 90 degrees to the ground, but from the cab, that's what it, it looks 90 degrees from the ground, so you always need to set your boom. It doesn't matter how you set it. You could curl the bucket, you could have the bucket all the way out, you could have the arm all the way out. You just have to set it the same, so that way when you're in the machine checking the grade, you put your arm in that same location, and then you can check your grade from that. So to set this up, you just take it, you just find out where it is. Now obviously this part face the operator. You just put it on. I hate beeping so I always shut it off. But see so now I can see that from the cab and it will tell me to go up or down. So then I can grade the whole patio without ever getting out of the machine and having to check it with the stick. And um, it works the same way with, you know, if you're doing a parking lot or trenches, it all works the same. Um, it's a great little tool, and that's how you right, uh, set it up. I just want to quickly re-explain um, how to move the receiver up and down on the stick, because I get a feeling you guys probably didn't understand it. 
and if you mess this part up, you're going to be either adding or subtracting the wrong amount of dirt, and that won't be good. Okay, so I just set this here. Now I need the gravel to be nine inches below that. Now I told you to move this, move the receiver up. That's what you got to do. But the way to think about it, okay? So we're level here. Is obviously the laser beam does not move. So what you have to do is this is the really hard way of doing it, but I'm just trying to show you what I mean. Okay. So the receiver stays here at level. Now, you want the bottom of the stick nine inches lower, because that's where your gravel's gonna be. So think about it as moving the stick down nine inches, okay? Because that's what you're actually doing. Instead of moving the receiver up. Okay, so hopefully that explains that a little better. So again, you're here, you gotta be nine inches lower, you're not moving the receiver, you're actually moving the stick down. So in turn, when you're down here, and you measure, so I'm just throwing it on here real quick, but, so you gotta go down nine inches. Okay, so I just measured, I gotta move it to here. Now, obviously, it's a lot easier to just pick this up and slide it, okay? So, that's what you're actually doing. You're actually, when you move this up, you're pushing the bottom of the stick down, is, is what I just showed you. So then you tighten it up, and then you're back at your, your nine inches. So that's what you're doing. You're actually, think about it as keeping the receiver right level with the laser beam and moving the stick. Um, and that's how you can kind of figure out and then you got to just think about it a little and you got to just when you're down here Just move the receiver in the opposite direction So if you're trying to go down you got to move the receiver up because you're actually pushing the bottom of the stick down So hope that clears a little clears it up a little for you Sweet.